What does live in Antarctica? Antarctica's sub-zero temperatures aren't only inhospitable to humans, but most other mammals as well. While penguins, seals, and whales are the best-known residents of Antarctica, they are seabirds and marine mammals. While the Antarctic does not have permanent human residents, the region is a busy outpost for a variety of research scientists. These scientists work at government-supported research stations and come from dozens of different countries. Oxygen accumulates within the mats during the long days of the Antarctic summer when the amount of sunlight they receive peaks. The researchers suggest these mats could have generated oxygen oases, and as these mats spread across the planet, they eventually triggered the Great Oxidation Event. The strong winds of Antarctica are called catabatics, formed by cold, dense air flowing out from the polar plateau of the interior down the steep vertical drops along the coast. It is at the steep edge of Antarctica that the strong catabatic winds form as cold air rushes over the land mass. Why is Antarctica so windy? The strong winds are the result of catabatic winds from the Greek word katabasis, meaning going down which arise when cold, dense air lying less than a few hundred meters off the surface at the highest levels of the Antarctic ice sheets flows down towards the coast on. Rain is observed near the coast, but most precipitation over Antarctica is in the form of snow or ice crystals. Windy conditions make it difficult to measure snowfall accurately. The average accumulation of snow over the whole continent is estimated to be equivalent to about 150 millimeters of water per year. Oxygen remains at about 20% as altitude increases. Barometric pressure decreases as the altitude increases. As barometric pressure decreases, partial pressure of oxygen decreases. The body works harder to push oxygen from the lungs into the bloodstream. Antarctica's wildlife is diverse and unique. It is the only continent on Earth which has no terrestrial mammals, but is home to a range of marine wildlife and birds, including penguins. The most common birds in Antarctica are penguins. It is home to 18 different species, including the emperor penguin. So see you soon, friends, inshallah.